Hello, this is Dr. Todd, and in this short video, I'd like to present to you a workflow which utilizes primarily Google products as well as uh, Google Keep to do uh, for doing academic research. Uh, I've used all kinds of note-taking applications uh, before related to uh, research, and so one of the things that there's things like Evernote, there's uh, Nimbus Notes, Devon Think. Apple Notes, a ton of different ways to do it. But I wanted to, to show you how you can be very productive with, with academic projects in using Google services primarily. I think one of the things we have to keep in mind though, when we're looking at any application, is that we need to adapt our workflow to the functionality of the application instead of complaining about how the application lacks the functions we need. Uh, the reason that's important is because you will never find a perfect application because they have to make applications that are suitable for the vast majority of people, not just you personally. So when it comes to our application usage, we cannot be snowflakes. We need to be able to adapt what we're doing. Now, sometimes there's some applications that fit much better than others, and so you need to find the one that fits you best. But I wanted to show you a really neat way that we could that you could do a research paper or, or a sermon message or any kind of project like that uh, with Google Keep and Google Docs and so on and so forth. Uh, this is helpful because you can use it with, a, with an iPad, uh, although the multitasking is a little bit difficult, but you can use it on Mac, Windows, or a Chromebook to get, to get this done. So with that said, let me, let me show you one of the projects I'm working on. Let's, let's go to the big screen here. Now, I'm working on several projects, but right now the one I want to focus on is uh, one uh, CBT anxiety video. You see, it, you see it here. What you'll see on my screen is on the left, I have a, a book called Running Scared by Ed Welch, uh, and it's, it deals with fear and anxiety. And I've already, uh, and on my right, I've got a uh, Google Keep. And so I've got them minimized or separated on the screen here. Now, one of the problems with Google Keep, or one of the strengths is it's like using Post-it notes, as you can tell. Look at all these notes I've taken over the last two days. But the problem is it's like using Post-it notes. In other words, it can be very confusing very quickly. It can be overwhelming almost when you get a lot of post-it notes on your, on your panel here. So I want to offer you some ideas on how to do some things or how to structure some things when you're doing academic work. Uh, before we get started, though, let's, let's move over to, to Google Docs. Now, here in Google Docs, I've got an anxiety video document that I'm working on initially. And so this is going to kind of be my draft document at some point. Uh, but so... Before we go to there, though, look up here on this side. You'll see this P that I've, there's an extension called Paper Pile. Paper Pile is like Zotero for Google Docs. It's about $2.99 a month, but it's well worth it if you use a Chromebook or if you use Google, uh, like Google Docs to do your papers. We can open Paper Pile, and uh, right in here you see the different, here's, here's Running Scared, Fear God. That's the book I'm, I'm looking at on my Kindle. So I'm going to cite that. So I hit a citation. I'll let you view that. You see that's done in APA format there, but I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. This will make sense in a minute. So I've got that because I'm, I'm reading through the book, remember? And so let's, let's minimize that. So on the left here, I've got my Kindle uh, book of uh, Ed Welch's book, Running Scared. I'll show it to you what it looks like. See right here, Running Scared. And so I'm, I'm taking notes on the book. And so I come over here, and I've, I've already started taking notes, but... But let's say that, uh, oh, I really like this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this. I'm going to take a note and say, um, what about fear? And then, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna say uh, fear, oops, fear and worry run deep in us all. It's a quote by Welch, but I'm going to put the page number here down here at the bottom. I see on my Kindle it's page 14. So I'll put page 14. Okay, now that's not all I'm going to do, though. I'm also going to hit Command-V, and I'm going to put that in there. Now that makes sense in a minute. So here's, here's this, but look at how many, look at all this stuff we've got here. That's very confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, they don't tell you this in a lot of the videos you learn, but in Google Keep, you have labels which serve like tags, but there's a problem. They limit you to only 50 tags. And so you're going to run out of tags. So what I do is I use tags primarily for open projects. So here I'm going to add a tag. 
go to the three dots, add label, and I'm going to add CBT anxiety video because that's what's that's what's going to. So then, why am I doing that? Well, here's look what you can do. You come over here to CBT anxiety video, and now all of a sudden, all that's on my desktop are those tags or are those notes related to the project I'm working on. So let's go back over into Google into Google Docs. And so I'm, I'm writing along in my draft document. If you'll see right over here, there's a Google Keep tab. Look here. Here is, here, is that, here is that note that I just took. Look what you can do with it. You can drag and drop it right there if you wanted to. So right here we have it. So that's really interesting. You have, you have instant access over here, over here to all of your notes. See? So that's really cool. And so that's where, if I wanted to do that, I could. So, so what happens is, is then once, let's go back over, let's go back over to where we were. So once, once I'm finished here with taking all my notes, then what do I do with them? Well, what you can do is, is you can, there's, a, there's several ways you can handle it, but one of the ways I would do it is, let's say I'm gonna put a pseudo, what I'm gonna call a pseudo tag. I'm gonna put an at sign and I'm going to put, uh, let's say Welch 2007. It's almost like a like an APA citation tag. And the reason I'd want to do that is let's say I'm back up here in my notes and reminders. And, and, and by the way, then what I could do is I could take all of those notes and hit put them in what we call the archive. And so how you would do that, hang on, let me go back to it. Let me find it real quick. Right, here's the file. Then we, we hit these three, or we don't have to hit three buttons, right here. We archive it. Now what archive does is it takes it and takes it off your desktop and puts it down here kind of in a, hey, this is out of the way. See it? It's right here. But let's go back. And so I've archived all these, all these notes, and they're no longer showing up on my desktop, let's pretend. And I'm remembering, I really want to see, I really want to see those notes that I did from Ed Welch's book. And all I have to do then is I can search by doing at Welch. 2007 and look here there it is so you can actually have automatic recall what's good about this is doing it this way here is that it ties back to my reference manager because that's how I understand what Welch wrote was 2007 book entitled running scare but I can that, that's how I can I can always go back to paper pile or you can even create your own list in Google Keep and just pin it to the top if you want to, so you can know where your references are. But it provides this is a, this this provides a workaround for being able to to use Google Keep in such a way where you don't get overwhelmed by everything being cluttered, uh, where you can have instant access when you're writing through Google Docs, uh, and that you can always find things when you need to later. So uh, I hope that this video was helpful. If you like the work I'm doing here, please feel free to hit subscribe, uh, the subscribe button, as well as the like button so you won't miss any future videos. And if you have any questions or would like to see more of these workflow, functional, academic type videos, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do those. I, I get so frustrated with some of these videos that I, that I watch because they're very good at showing you, hey, this is Google Keep. These are the things you can do, but they don't really apply Google Keep or any of the other applications. And so it gets kind of boring. There's only so many things you can do with these applications as far as introduction. And I, I want to offer a more of an application types uh, use of, of, of these kind of apps. So if you have any questions, let me know. God bless. See you in the next video.